Demonic person. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was something over there. It was like a child, child. going, no. Did I you heard that. Hear what that? the hell was that? That's a floor board. Ask me that. That really was a floor board. The ghost dimension. Based in the heart of Stockport, in Cheshire, stands an old mill, and it's said to be one of the most haunted mills in the UK. This is Ghost Dimension, and today we investigate Weir Mill. So Bob, when was this mill built? Uh, it was built in 1790 by John Collier. It was uh, built as the, the cotton mill in Stockport. It was the oldest one in Stockport. So has John ever been reported here? Has anybody ever witnessed or heard or has he ever came up? We, we have had somebody that looks like he's in authority here, but we can't actually say if it's John Collier or not. Right. Okay. So I believe there was a fire here. Do you see anybody from that fire and did anybody lose their lives here? We don't know if anybody lost the, lost the life. Um, it has been picked up before by people that are sensitive, that they, they feel like they've been getting hot and burning. Really? Um, but there wasn't one, there was three fires. Oh, right. Um, and then it was built to a more rugged standard and it was classed as a fireproof mill. Do you know any of the dates that the fires occurred? Um, we, we know of one, yeah. uh, which was I think was 1824. Wow. Um, but the, the problem is with this, the, there's no records. We can't find anything, you know, like employers' records right. or, yep. you know, health and safety accidents, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So possibly it went up in the flames. Oh, God. With Paul mentioning fires at the mill, are any of the souls who perish still haunting here? Will our team encounter them tonight? Many parts of the building are believed to be so haunted, members of staff and public won't even enter due to an icy oppressive feeling it emits. So Paul, what is this mill used for now? Uh, there are several businesses that operate on the ground floor uh, but the vast majority of the mill is for airsoft right. um, so they go around shooting each other with plastic BBs. Have they ever reported anything? Oh yeah, yeah there's some, quite a few of the players. There's one person in particular that won't set foot in where we are now, wow. the tire room. Um, but there's uh, a lot of the players have reported to us that they've seen things, felt things. There's one player in one on one particular occasion, he huddled up in a, a corner somewhere and he thought another player had huddled up behind him and he said, you know, get your own space. Yeah. And he looked around, there wasn't anybody, but he said he physically felt like he was being pushed. Wow. And at that point he just ran. Yeah. He was being shot by everybody yeah. and he just ran away yeah. and wasn't bothered. Many people have attempted to stay here, however few have succeeded. Shadow people have been witnessed walking inside of the mill. Are those the souls of the people that lost their lives here? Or is it another entity wanting to make itself known? So what, what can you tell me about the shadows that have been reported in here? Where have they been reported? Um, pretty much all over the mill, but we're in one of the areas that is really quite rife for it. Over near the, uh, the jail cell area, uh, which I'll take you to in a minute around the corner, we constantly see shadows moving on the back wall. Uh, and we did have a group in um, a couple of months ago, and while everybody sat around the table, um, the roof had been leaking and there was quite a puddle of water and you could clearly hear footsteps going through the water. Oh you God. were looking straight at where it was coming from, but you couldn't see anything on that occasion. But then, a little bit further up, people were saying, I can see dark shadows. So this, this is one of the best forms to see the shadows. <laughs> Just because we're in the area now. Yeah. We've, had, we've had people, that, you know, as soon as they've seen something, that's good enough, because a lot of people don't you know, think it's happened. Mm. Yeah, as soon as they, they actually physically see something, yeah. they're off. And is there any particular names that are coming up in these areas? Yeah, we've got uh, a gentleman here that's quite regular to this place and his name's Frank. Frank. Uh, yes, and he likes to drink. Um, 
um, whether he still does now, but yeah. certainly when he was in uh, the living form, he, he liked to drink. And he's always been attracted to blondes. Is that well. right? Mm. It's going to be all about you tonight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've had some really impressive stuff um, when we've been, people have been sat around the table. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, he, he always goes for the blondes. And we actually had one lady that was here for a birthday party. Mm. Uh, and she got dragged under the table. Mm. Yes, it took two of us to, to pull her out. Uh, and she was clawing at the table. Oh it was something God. like out of a horror film. Um, but you know, she, she came and it was just a, a birthday laugh. But it freaked all the friends out. Yeah. She was shook up. To take her back to the hub, and that was the end of their night. Do yeah. you have a date of when Frank passed over? No. Do you know the date? No. 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 He's, he's good for a laugh. Yeah. He, he likes a, a laugh and a joke, but he's not very coherent. So oh, we've right. not exactly got a date, so we're not sure if he's actually tied to this mill. Mm. We, we seem to have a feeling that he may, may have been a vagrant, you know, he may, may have been homeless or something. Oh. Um, so we don't know quite what the origins are. Um, but he has come forward, he, said, he did say he had, he had a family and children and what have you, and he was uh, alive, and that seemed to upset him on that occasion. He, oh. he cut it short. Um, but okay. he's, he's, always, he's good for a laugh, he's a, he's a practical joker. Maybe we'll pick up on him tonight. Let's hope know. so. And then we've got Lady Sarah as well, there's a young woman in here called Sarah, but she likes to be called Lady, Lady Sarah. Lady Sarah. Oh, right. We have to find out tonight what the connection is to spirit Lady Sarah. Why is she here? What does she want? Okay. Uh, and we're not sure what her tie is, but we seem to think that uh, she may have been seeing somebody that was working here. Oh. Uh, a love affair or a uh, betrothed, we're not sure. So we've got Lady Sarah. And Frank. And Frank. So we could hit on these two people as well. Yeah. Built in 1790. Women and children slave long, hard days and nights here, working strict conditions. And sadly, some of those children lost their lives inside these very walls. Paul, where have you experienced the most activity in the mill? Um, well, we're in the, the jail area, as yeah. I was just saying a moment ago, and um, just outside of here, this is where we, we see the shadows. Um, um, it's just out there that there was a puddle, and we could hear the footsteps walking through that puddle, yeah. and everybody heard that. Um, but it seems to be at this end of the tyrant where we are right now that there's a lot going on. Um, but the first time that we came and we were doing our investigation, up at the top end, uh, I picked up an EVP on, our, on my camera and it was something telling me to F off. Oh my <gasps> God. Yeah. Uh, at first I thought it was just a breath, but it was actually one of the guests that said, you know, wow. I can't believe that a spirit's told you to do that. Yeah. And then listening back to it, you can hear it's very drawn out, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely get an EVP in there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But I mean, there, there's so much you can't really say, stay here. This no. is going to happen no. here. It's, it's just everywhere. It's got yeah. something a little bit different. Okay. Brilliant. Where, so where were the shadow people seen? Out here? Uh, yes. Just where we are right now. Yeah. Just on the other side of these boards. On those, right. You can see it walking yeah. um, going up the wall. And uh, it was just on the other side of these boards that the puddle was. And that's where, you know, footsteps. Not just the once, quite a few times. Wow. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Did you hear that? That was something over there. It was like a child, child. going, no! Yeah. I like these devices. Oh. Before we start our investigation, we ask the hub to monitor all of the cameras and inform us of any paranormal activity. So now we're in the tyre room. We're going to do a call out, maybe use a lot of equipment, see what ha happens. Sure. We've got the obvious, let's yeah. start with it. Okay. Dictionary mode. What's it said? Dictionary mode. Right, okay. Frank? Yeah, Frank, are you here? Oh, it's just the camera. Frank? Can you speak to us? Can you speak to this device? Did you, Did you hear, hear that? that down there? I behind heard something over there. And I heard something over there. And I heard something behind us. That's a... Property. 
Is this, this your property? Loving. Now, Frank likes blonde women. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Frank, you're here with us, aren't you? <gasps> Did you hear that? That was something over there. It was like a child, child. going, no! What we had just caught on the cameras was a child's voice playing or children playing. Was this a connection to the mill when it was younger? <gasps> Did you hear that? That was something over there. It was like a child, child. going, no! The sounds of children can still be heard throughout the building. Are these the echoes of the children that slaved long and hard here? Should we go over there and see if we can see what it is? Yeah, and while we're doing that, I'm going to set an EVP machine. What? Vase. Vase? That's American? Yeah. Are you American, Frank? EVP recording entire room. EVP recording is happening right now. We pick up anything. We'll take it right back to the hub where we'll get it analysed. Think. Think? What would you want us to think about? Frank, are you still here? That was down there. No way, that was down there. That was down there? Why are we hearing things all around? It's like we're being cornered. Pardon? Alphabet. Alphabet? Do you want us to go through the alphabet and then it'll, you'll stop on something? Is it Frank or is it somebody else? Is it somebody else? There was a noise to the left of us, wasn't there? Yeah. If we hear another noise, let's, let's run over and see if we can see something. Yeah, let's investigate it. Is that EVP still going? No, it's finished. Is it? Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's batteries gone. have gone on the EVP. Batteries have gone. I mean, we'll just change those batteries. Just put new batteries in. Is that batteries? you, Frank, messing with the equipment? Are you draining the equipment so you can appear stronger to us? Speaking to this device here. Over there. There's a noise over there. Let's go. Let's go check it out quick. Oh! Did you hear over that? there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on over. You got that way. What it says? Pro projection. Okay. So you threw something guys. Projection. Oh. Lonely? Mommy. Mommy? Yeah. So your mum was here that when you were down. a child. Sorry? Down that way. Let's go over. Let's, let's go over that way. So was it your mum who was here? I don't want to particularly go through. Well, we're going to so. have to. Come on, let's go that way. So is it a child? Go around. So, did you grow up without your mum because she worked here? Come on, we, we just want to communicate with you. We're not here to harm you, Frank. Can you come near us? A camera had gone down in the hub. However, we debunked it as one of our crew members had knocked it at the time. Can't we like these debunked? Five's gone down. Right, we're, we're next to that camera now because I stepped back and I felt something. Got you. Debunked. Paul now takes us to the Y room, which is believed to be one of the most haunted rooms in the whole of the mill. So the River Mersey is outside this this mill. Has it got any connection to the building? Uh, well, this was strategically built right next to the River Mersey because it would have had a, a water wheel and that would have, would have been the power for it. Um, but also there's the theory. Have you heard something else? The whistle. A whistle. Again. Yeah. Yeah, a whistle. It's not coming through my teeth, is it? No. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, you know, the place is supposed to be haunted. Yeah. Um, 
So the river Mersey, yes, the river it, it Mersey. powered this building? Yes, it powered the wheel. Uh, and then there's the theory from a paranormal point of view that running water is a good conductor for paranormal activity. Well, yeah. Is, yeah. And then speculatively, yeah. back in 1790, when this place was built, the staple employment would have been children. Um, and it was either here or the workhouse up the road. So families, if they couldn't afford to keep the children, would have perhaps put them into the mills to work, and it was a good place for orphans. Now, bearing in mind that uh, you know, there wouldn't have been a family to take care of them, and this is where the speculative bit comes in, the river might have been a good place to get rid of the bodies. Yeah. And we do know that there is a documented uh, accident that happened where some children did lose their life on the landing platform outside on the River Mersey. So, like I say, it's speculatively, you know, but knowing how mills used to be back yeah. then, they didn't have to answer to anybody here. No. Yeah. So this is called the Y Room. Why is yes. it called the Y Room? That's a good question, um, and I will answer because we caught one of the best and creepiest EVPs I've ever heard. Really? Um, just in this room, we called it the Y Room because that's what we we caught, but it was the way it was said. Mm -hmm. uh, there was just myself and the team in, and I had placed a camera just over uh, a few feet away on a tripod. Everybody was in shock, so it wasn't anybody that was doing it. Um, but we'd heard noises at the far end of uh, this floor, yeah. um, and I'd called for, for whatever it is to do it again. And we got this, why? <gasps> oh <my laughs> really, God. really creepy, you know. And I've oh not heard God. anything quite so. I don't want to say demonic. Everybody says yeah. demonic, yeah. but it was certainly not. Uh, it was very guttural. In this room. In this room, yeah. <gasps> As we interviewed Paul, a clear bang could be heard. All the team had been accounted for, so we have no idea what this could be. Could this be the spirit of the demonic one letting us know he was there? In this room. In this room, yeah. In this room. In this room, yeah. And then you get things like Did that. you hear that? Did you pick that up on sound day? Yeah, got that quite clear on sound there. You see, sometimes the wind can make the board rattle. Yeah. yeah. But when we've had it, on occasion in the past, not all of these boards are loose, mm. but we've had it going in succession, one, two, three, three. four, really? all the way up here. And then to this door here that I'm yeah. gonna take you over to now. Yeah. Um, this was a, a later addition as well as this, because this panel here, mm. one night while we were doing a, a vigil, um, didn't fall out, it flew out. It came oh, out wow. with such force and landed over here, uh, a good six, eight foot away. Um, oh. Everybody that was in the circle just freaked out. Um, I came running because I go forth and yeah. run away from yeah. it. But there was just no reason, you know. I mean, these things are, are nailed in pretty yeah. tight. But this has been put on later to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, got it. But that was that was pretty impressive. That takes some force. Yeah, really does. And that banging we're hearing now yeah. is the wind. I think so. Yeah. I hope so. This is the wire room. And did you hear that banging? Yeah. Which way do you want to go? I don't know, I heard a growl come from there and a bang come from there. Listen. Breathing. Let's go there. That? Let's go that way. Yeah, it was like a... Ooh. Yeah? Like that's what I heard. It was, it's a man. Yeah, it was yeah. down there again. Right, let's go down this way. It's a man. Let me turn the other listen first. I'm absolutely <laughs> crapping my pants. It's quite scary, isn't it? You. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, the activity in this place is mental, it really is. We, we will go. Records, it said records. Where's Neil? It's gone off. Has it gone off? Records? No. Do you have records of people that worked here? Ah, that's because you didn't have it. Paul said the records may have gone up off in the flames. What? Carrier. Okay, let's go over that way. This is the Y room as well. Yeah, this is the Y room where the board came out and the boards are banging what? at the back. <gasps> oh my God! What? It's not my hair. It was like a, a long figure. Does not it? a figure, but a long light. Does anybody get the feeling let's go down here. that it's super dangerous? Yeah, I do. I'm going to turn this torch off. You have to twist, twist it, twist it. Frank, are you following us? Yeah. Or is it somebody else? Life. Did you lose your life up here? Still to come. What's your name? Quiet. 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 
Jesus Christ! Okay, thank you. Did I you heard that. Hear what that the hell was that? That was a floorboard. Pass me that. Our investigation at Weirmill had taken our team through the tyre room to the infamous Y room, where we continue to communicate with the spirits not of this world. Or do we have to be careful for our life? Because this is the really bad spirit. Yeah, this could be somebody else. Did you hear that? Okay, maybe we should stop a minute and like t t just put some protection around us. Okay. Yeah? Oh god, that's full steps. Fuck off. Oh god. That was so long. <gasps> oh! Okay. Just can't take it. Deep breaths. I can't. Okay. Okay, don't be scared, let's just go. This is what we're here for, to find out. Stick together, guys. What? See. See? Okay, we're coming oh, to maybe, see you right now. And maybe the torch is blinding them. Perhaps. Is that you? That was two definite knocks then. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you make any more noises for us? It likes it when you speak. Okay, it's okay, fine. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, that it's was okay. right there. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so it's got a connection to Nicola. Okay, no. okay, it's going yeah. across. Yeah. No, it's, okay. it's this one here. Keep this one here. What did Glance. You know what that means? We're going to catch you up the corner of the eye. It felt like something wanted our attention and it certainly got it. So now we go deeper into the mill on our journey and connect with a spirit person named Green. Listen, when... Did you hear I that? I did. I heard that. That was footsteps. I was like Come on. scattering. Let's, Let's chase out, it man. through. Chase it. Green. Green, do you want us to come this way? What did it say? Wide. The wider just door. Just not feeling safe going through here. Just go through and then we'll all be through. Would you want to go first, Nicola? No. We'll go together. You go first together. Hmm. Not no, did you I hear heard that. that. Hear what that the hell was that? That was a floorboard. Pass me that. That really was a floorboard. Okay, well I do have a camera set up in here as well. Do so. you? Yeah, anything that is happening, hopefully we'll catch. That was a very slow listen, forward. Listen, listen. What's it say? Did you hear that? Yeah. Wow. What? That said Africa and then the board. Did you hear that? That, that's like Did you pick that up on something? That's like footsteps of hooves. Yeah. Is that you? Hello? Entire. You're in, in are you in this entire room? Are you human? That's more knocking than wind blowing something. That is more knocking, isn't it? Okay, let's, let's go through. Let's investigate guys. Really? Really don't want to be Just watch your foot in here. Feeling really creeped out in here. Okay, we're in here. This is where we heard the noises. I feel like something is gonna jump out. Arrows. It's over there. Thing. Thing! It said thing. It said thing. Something. Look. Are you not a human entity? Oh, God. That's just the boards. I feel safer over there. Mm. In here, the weir mill, 
they use these boards uh, as mock-up of a morgue. That's why there's a white sheet of blood on it there. Okay, should we call that here? Yeah. Okay, can you give us a name in here? We don't like calling you thing. Is there anybody in here? See, the ovulus has gone really quiet all of a sudden. Can you make any bangs? We heard you before. It's gone really quiet yeah. for some reason. What? Well, 15. This could be the age of the person in here. It could be the spirits. Or well, 15 spirits. Uh, Nicola, ask it. Ask it, Nicola. Is it 15? Are you 15 years old? Are you a child? Have you been dead for 15 years? Something doesn't feel right. It's like waiting. Should we go that way? Yeah. It's just gone, like, still since you walked in. Hasn't it? It's like the waiting and... Watch this wire. Yeah, there's a big wire sticking up, guys. Can you hear that? Yeah. What? Greater. So maybe it's a greater danger over here. Greater danger. Oh. Did you hear that? I did. I did. Did Susan you hear that? Coming, it was like a metal lock. Are we in danger here? Something was being dragged. Yeah. Yeah, I remember what's happened once after that. We've seen the kid and them, and it's coming towards us. Okay, we set up a REM pod to see if anything. What the hell was that? It's an instant reaction, yeah. like a really deep, deep thud. Yeah. Are you in there? Did you die in there? You in there? What's your name? Quiet. It went quiet in the room. Jesus Christ! Okay, thank you. As we all believed it was going quiet, the spirit we are trying to communicate with made sure we knew he was still there. What's your name? Quiet. It went quiet in the room. Jesus Christ! Okay, thank you. What's your name? Quiet. It went quiet in the room. Okay, thank you. Make the REM pod go off and then we'll leave this room. Speak to us, speak to us, give us something. I'm gonna, we'll leave and we'll, we'll do like rituals. It is quite bizarre how it's gone quiet. It's like, give me 15 minutes to sort of recharge, maybe, and then mm. I'm gonna come back with a vengeance. Where would you feel comfortable doing language for me? Enough. Pardon? Enough. Enough? He's no. Had enough. He's had enough. Make, had enough. Make, the lo make the REM pod go off and then we'll leave you alone in this area. Come on. Or oh, come closer to us. Make the K2 meter flash. Oh that my right? god, I saw it move. Can you make the lights on the K2 need to go off? What is it? Suggested. Suggested is that enough? Suggested enough? Yeah, let's go back to the hub. Should we leave individuals. Him? Okay, we'll respect you enough and we'll go. You've, you've not hurt us. 
That's different. We'll leave you alone. We'll go back to the hub, we'll see what they've got, Seems to be and then we'll come back, maybe do some loan vigils. Coming up next. Jesus. Dave, Dave! Can you make the lights on my K2 meter flash? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Stay still, stay still, okay. Weir Mill was suddenly becoming Weird Mill, as the paranormal activity we were experiencing could not be explained. I sent Sean and Dave to a part of the mill known as the Fun House to investigate further, while Nicola investigated the cell on her own, whilst I watched in the hub. Yes, there. This is what they call the entrance to the fun house, which is basically a maze of different walls. Um, I know what we've got here, Dave. Yeah. We've got the obvious. The obvious, I've got a K2 as well, so we get a K2 set up. We've got a camera pointing at us from there, one of our still cameras. Sure, I'm come back here. Did you hear that? No, as you shown that to me then. Oh, it's my shadow, okay. You got this on? Can you make any noises for me? What's that? Fuck. Right, something. I don't know what it was. I don't like it, I don't like it. It's Frank here. Did you hear it? It's something. Down there. We're rustling. Should we go down? You go first. Yeah. It's actually a dead end, so. There's no way. Oh no, there's another way. Classic. Sorry? Classic. Classic. Can you affect my K2 meter, please? Come forward. Come into our aura. Change the electromagnetic field around us. This light will not harm you in any way. Haste. Don't be afraid, don't be hasty, come forward. Was that you, Frank? I can hear banging, something was just thrown at me. I don't know what it was. Can you make the lights on my K2 meter flash? I don't like it. <laughs> Frank, speak to us. Or is Sarah? Is Sarah? Uh, yeah, girl screamed. It's like a maze, Dave. It is. That's why they call it the fun house. A lot of people get pissed. Dave, east. East. Are we heading east? You want us to head east? <laughs> business. Maybe he's got unfinished business, Dave. Possibly. Right, I'm getting scared now, okay? Right, I'm, I'm gonna come out now. Video? Video. Oh, you want us to capture you on video? This gonna, we, are we gonna capture you on video or something happening on video? Should we go upstairs, Dave, and see? Can do. Come on. Can't see a thing. Jesus. Dave, Dave! As Dave and I investigated the funhouse, what seems to be a ghostly breath could be heard. We have found no other explanation for this noise. 
Jesus. Dave! Dave! Jesus. Dave! Dave! How do you feel? I'm petrified, I'm shaking. What happened? Like happened? I had something thrown at me. Not in here because I was in there. I was just... I don't know. I was just... It was just... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The walls are moving. Dirt. I heard that. That was a big bang. I don't know the way out of there. Shit! What? Something was behind. Dave? Dave, I can't see you. Stop yeah. moving. There we go. We're just going in circles, mate. Ah! Fuck, I saw a shadow. Just black cloth, huh? Yeah. Oh. Tin. Disaster. What? Disaster. You better not cause any disaster. We're not here to harm you. We're just here to learn about you. To learn your story. Are you there? Do not move! Look at him. Giggling. I've just lost the infrared. Honestly. Got it. The final part of our investigation took us to a part of the building known as the maze. This part of the investigation scared the team more than ever before, as we appear to encounter the demon. Okay, I just heard a just heard a breath as we came in the room. I heard a big As we started the investigation, we heard a breath, and in edit we picked up a demonic breath that shook us to the core. Was this a sign of what we were about to encounter? The ovulus also said down following this event. Was this a warning of us not to stay in the room? Okay, I just heard the Okay, I just heard the... What? Down. Down? Tell us to go down. We've literally just... Are you telling us to go down because you don't want us here? Observe. Okay. You're watching us. Okay, just press one. Video. What? Video. Video. It's video again. Okay, um, what's this room? This is the maze, isn't it? Voice memo, like maze. Are you video do you notice someone videoing? And you think you're gonna get captured on the video? Come on, or we... do you want to get captured on the video? We wanna capture you. Are you here? Touch Nicola. Touch Bex. Believe you like women. Or touch Sean. If you like the women, and you don't want the men to be here, touch them, make them scared, pull the hair, kick them, make them scared, jump out at them. Listen. Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. What happened, what happened? Did you not hear that? Somebody behind there. Yeah, there's somebody behind there. Where? Behind oh, there. Oh, please. Did you hear that? That was a board. That was a board there, moving. This one. Should we go around? Let's, we have to investigate it. Yeah, let's go around. Thank you very much for doing that. I'm sorry, sorry. Is that you? Are you trying to get yourself cool? Did you see that? I saw that then. What was that? That was a white light. Yes. Over here on this. On Can this. you do that again? And again. There it is, again. Yeah. It's not, it's not. Yeah, I know you were trying to get caught on the camera with the light. You have to do it again. That was definitely making on the noise. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Stay still, stay still. Okay. Thank you. Let's go back. Something doesn't 
feel right down here. Yeah, that could be the boards flowing under the wind. Really? Can you go around that? Yeah. Because that's where it's going to be. Come on. It feels really, really bad. Please communicate with us. We only want to know what you want to say to us. Can you make another noise? Do you hear that? Can you hear that? Yeah. It's almost like a whine. Yeah. Have you got the EVP on yet? Yeah. I've heard it twice now. Do you hear that again? Dave. Another one? Is that still recording? Dave, did you pick that up yeah, on sound? Yeah, I'm picking it up on the sound. No way. Did you hear that behind Neil? Behind you, Neil. I heard some. That was shuffling, wasn't it? Exactly. What did that say? Earthen. Eh? E A R T H E N. Earthen. Earthen. Are you not. Are you not of this earth? Are you some demonic spirit that likes to play with people? Did you hear that? Yeah. What was it? Like a breath. Like a breathing. As soon as you said that. Demonic person! <laughs> okay. Don't. Demonic person, please communicate with us. Believe. Yeah. Did, yeah. 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 What? Moment. Take a you moment, got... maybe? Are you going to do something in a moment? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Hold on a second, you know. There's something going on in here. What's that? It's a chair. Right. Can you hear that? No. What can you hear now? Did you hear that? Is anybody over there? Please identify yourself. Did you hear that over there? Yeah. Like coming near us. Because I feel like my hands are heavy. Really? It doesn't feel like a. Does that overbear presence on you? Like the emotions that this is listening. Yeah. It's like this is listening. And then when we stop talking it throws out a word to us. It doesn't like being called demonic.